there is nothing like the taste of fresh Tabor corn. And the way to keep that lasting all year round is to find a way to prepare it and store it in your freezer. You can either blanch it or you can do a freezer corn recipe. Last year I showed you how to blanch it. And that is a simple way to do it, but there's another way. And I shared that recipe at the end of that video, my mom's freezer corn recipe. Well, I've had tons of questions about that recipe. And so I thought it was high time I create I... a video and show you how I do it. It's so simple. You're actually going to say, why did you create a video on this? Well, you asked. So let's go learn to make this tasty, delicious, fresh corn recipe. This recipe starts with eight cups of uncooked corn. Now I saw this wonderful tip to use your bunt pan to slice off your corn. Making sure that you're cutting it away from the cob so you don't get the extra rough pieces of corn. Spinning it and taking off the nice full cobs as much as you can. The type of corn I'm using today is Tabor peaches and cream corn. Tabor, Alberta is famous for its corn and thus it is called the corn capital of Canada. In a large stock pot, you're going to add a quarter cup of water, a half a cup of margarine or butter, the choice is yours, and then also add one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of white sugar. You're going to bring all those four ingredients to a boil, ensuring that the margarine is completely melted, but immediately after that, add the eight cups of uncooked corn. Do not adjust the temperature that you've used to bring those four ingredients to a boil, and now continue stirring that constantly and boil for the next three minutes. You're only going to partially cook the corn with only cooking it for three minutes and so that you can see the change in the color of the corn from what it initially put in to now. Once the three minutes are up, we're going to pull it off the stove and put it into the Pyrex container for it to cool just a little bit before transferring it to the freezer bags. Today I made two batches of the freezer corn recipe, so that was a total of 16 cups of corn. And now I'm going to put them into medium-sized freezer bags so that I can pull them out for servings for dinner. What I'm going to use is two cups of corn in each bag. I've labeled each of these freezer bags with freezer corn August 2023 so that I can keep them separate from the bags of corn that I just blanched because those I'm going to have to cook differently when it comes time to reheat it later on this winter. This yielded me six bags, two cups each, and a little bit of corn left over. Yes, I would blanched the corn for the recipes that I needed, but I also do this recipe so that when you pull it out of the freezer, it is ready, ready to reheat and eat. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit like and subscribe. By liking my videos, it helps me know which videos that you're enjoying watching and helps me know what kind of content I should continue creating. I really appreciate your support and you following me along in this process. I love the community that we are creating together. This brings me so much joy to be able to share the things that I know that my mom has taught me, that I've learned from others, and that I've learned through trial and error and be able to share them with you. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you have a great week.